great Scott! Alright, no, that's pretty bad. Hey, what's going on, Bucketheads? I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. If you're new to the channel, I'm a guy in a bucket talking about precious metals. So hit the subscribe button and get the bell notification clicked. That way you get updated with any new content. Today I'm going to be looking at the very ultra-low mintage Back to the Future coin. This thing is insane. And what's even more insane is what it comes in. Check this out. Here we go. All right. So what I typically do is I save the packing material. Um, I recycle all this stuff. I use it for all of my orders. I am very excited for these. Um, I ordered three of these. So let's just get these out of this giant box. What the heck? Oh, and I ordered these too, which I'll get into in just a minute. I forgot about that. Um, how about that? Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the heck is this that I ordered? All right. Here we go. I got this one. I got this one. All right. So we'll get into this in just a moment. I forgot about those. Whoa. All right. Big, uh, big box here. Uh, I'm going to reveal these at the end. Um, these are awesome. Um, this is the 80th anniversary of uh, Disney, Donald Duck. Um, these have been very popular lately. The 85th anniversary Donald Ducks have been very popular. This is the 80th anniversary. Um, I actually haven't even researched to see if they've done, uh, you know, 75th and 70th anniversary coins. Um, but, you know, this is old school Donald Duck, kind of like the 90th anniversary, if I'm not mistaken, is the Steamboat uh, Willie. Um, so this is like old school Donald Duck. And it's interesting, too, that they would choose old school Donald Duck, um, you know, for the 80th anniversary and then again for the 85th anniversary. So um, let's just open these up. They come in a nice presentation box. I actually didn't even uh, realize that they uh, came in these presentation boxes. I just bought the coin. Um, and I'm not entirely sure on the mintage, but uh, actually it will probably say it here in the COA. Um, let's see, oh, and it's a proof. All right, so let's just pop this out of, oh, it comes in. All right, oh, it's like magnetic. Wow, this is really nice. All right, so I believe this, yep, it's magnetic there. And uh, here's the 80th anniversary um, Donald Duck coin. All right, this is a 2014, 2014. And let's see what the uh, COA says here. We can get it out of there. I got three of these, so um, undecided if I'm going to 10,000 mintage, so very limited mintage. This is number 7,626. Um, let me check the other ones. So 7,626 on that one. Very nice presentation um, for sure. Let's move these to the side for now. And this one goes over here. Just. Uh, We'll just put the box, put the box like that for now. I'm just trying to make room, get everything on frame for you guys to see. <coughs> and let's see what this one is. Any guesses? What year do you think it will be, guys? What year? Um, let's get this out of the box. All right. Let's see. Very, very nice. And this is going to be number... Um, let's see. Number... 7,636, again, very, very cool. I wonder if this is like, supposed to stand up in a certain way. Oh, it does, it's magnetic and it actually pops up like that. That's pretty cool. This whole thing comes out, but the magnets are strong enough where it can just kinda stay up at an angle for a presentation. That's cool. Okay, I was like, huh, it's interesting how this is like that. All right, so put that one here for now. And then this one 
is number, what do you guys think? 7,646, what do you think? Let's see. This one is number, let's see. This one is number, let's flip this around. Actually, let's put this down here. This one is number 7,639. All right, so these are very, very nice. So yeah, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for my auction. I'll um, definitely be putting at least one of these up. I'm not sure, maybe maybe two. We'll, we'll find out, right? But uh, very, very cool. Just put those back down there. Um, really though, what I'm excited for is what's in the, uh, these boxes here. That's what I'm excited for. Let's put this, uh, star foam back in, <clears throat> in there. Put this down in here, cover it up. Very, very nice. And this one, do, do, do. Right. I didn't know these came in these <clears throat> presentation boxes. Very, very cool. Let's see, does this one have a... This one didn't have a styrofoam in there. Put this in like that. Oh, it did. It's right there. Whoops. Okay. Get in there. Okay. Oh, and then this cardboard flap opens up. It makes it easier to pull out of the box. Okay. So that's it for the Donald Ducks. All right. So this is what I really wanted to get to. Check this out, guys. <clears throat> Only 2020 of these minted. Back to the Future. 35th anniversary, one ounce proof coin. Why is it coming in such a huge box, huh? Let's find out. Let's get all three side by side. It has the different dates on the top there. Very, very cool. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get this out of the box. Put it there, Universal Studios. All right. Put that there. Okay, so yeah, I got three of these. Don't know if I'm gonna keep them all or some limited mintage. A huge fan base for uh, Back to the Future. Uh, I'm just gonna open up this one here. Check that out, guys. <laughs> it's the flux capacitor. Number 1,410, only 2,020 of these um, minted. And then you just, oh, that's so cool. All right, so take out the flux capacitor, guys. Comes in this nice box here, nice big uh, foam insert. And then you just open up the flux capacitor handle there. It says Mr. Fusion. Um, I wonder if this opens. I don't want to click this or whatnot. Uh, Anyhow, check that out. Flux capacitor, back to the future coin. So, so nice. I'm going to try to pop it out of the... I can't get it out of there. <laughs> How do I get it out of the thingy? Um, I don't have fingernails. I try to keep my fingernails nice and clean and trim because I... I'm always doing the auctions. Oh, come on. Well... Mm -hmm. It should pop out of here. If there's like a button, that'd be helpful. E, how, how long do you think it'll take? I know what to do. All right, pry it out. Gently. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so back to the future. Flux capacitor coin. It's so cool. All right, so there have been videos on uh, YouTube for the Back to the Future coins, but this is the real deal. It comes in the flux capacitor, so those channels that are posting the uh, Back to the Future coin uh, videos, let's get with the program here and get yourself as a flux capacitor. Come on. Um, very, very, very cool.
Foy. This is the 35th anniversary, very popular movie from the 1980s. Um, and then it just closes back up like that. Uh, let's see what I got for the other ones. I'm curious as to the number. Um, let's put this over here to the side. Number 1,410. Um, let's see, this one. 1,324. Again, Mr. Fusion Flux Capacitor. I don't even know what the heck a flux capacitor was. Very cool. Very, very cool. Check that out. My kids are fighting in the background. I'll leave this one open. Um, so this is number 1,324. Uh, leave it like, just leave it like that. Okay. <laughs> Right there. And then this one is number, let's see, 1331. All right, so very cool. Um, <clears throat> you guys are interested in this sort of thing. Uh, New Zealand Mint puts out some really cool collectibles, um, a lot of cool pop culture uh, items from TV and film and, and, and what have you. Um, I had no problem getting that one out. I guess I just kind of pushed down with one side. That makes more sense. Uh, 2020, just very, very nice. So anyhow, guys, there it is. Mr. Fusion Flux Capacitor. Very, very cool. Check them out on Perth Mint's website. All right, guys, later. So there you have it, guys. Back to the Future Coin and the Flux Capacitor. Quick thank you to these elite channel supporters, and if you haven't become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. And with that, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Long live the Empire.